Hello guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how can you use VLOOKUP to retrieve the data. So VLOOKUP helps you to retrieve the data related to a particular value that you want to, you know, if you have something available like uh, for, uh, name of number of people, I mean, you are if you are a teacher, you are uh, in any school where you want to pull out the data for a particular student or particular group of people, how can you do that? I mean, you have to go to one sheet to the another to retrieve the data. But with the VLOOKUP help, you can retrieve the data for the particular group, people, or anything which you want to retrieve for. So I'm going to show you how can you do that. Also, I'm going to show you how can you do, how can you retrieve the data when you do not have the uh, same value in two, two different sets of data. So I have these random, random data available over here. Uh, now I want to retrieve the data for this particular. Uh, I want to show you just as an example. So I have just copied these names over here in the second column. So in the second column for these particular names, I want to retrieve this number, which is written against them and the nickname, the click JJAFF, -F, this kind of random number that I have given to them. I want to retrieve that uh in in the second tab using vlookup i mean think about it if you have n number of columns n number of rows available and you have multiple data available it would be very 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 useful trust me guys i use it every day at my office it is phenomenal now first i will retrieve this column and then this column Okay, I'm going to use equal to V lookup. Okay, what would be the lookup value? Lookup value would be this one. Okay, this would be the lookup value. Now we have to go to table array. You can see this line, it tells you how you can use this formula. Table array that uh, is a data where you want to retrieve it from. Okay, now which val value you want to retrieve? I want the second column. This is the first column. This is the second column. So I'll write second two and zero. Zeros denotes false. Okay, so now you can see that. See, you can read the uh, look up here. It has retrieved the data. I will just drag it till here. See, everything is available. So Roger 12, number 4 meter 14, house 23. The same number, same value are here. Suppose I change the number or a particular value for this. Will it change? Let's see. I will put here 4, 4. Let's go to the second column and see what happens. Yes, Roger has also already changed for 44. So this way you can retrieve the data for the particular column. Now I want to retrieve this second one. So I'll, how can I do that? I'll go to this tab. We, we look up again the same value. Guys, I want to tell you one thing over here. So whatever data you want to retrieve, suppose you want to retrieve for this name. Okay, this name of the people where it is written. So this data always have to be in the first column. It has to be on the first column or you have to choose the data from here. And after that, after that, you can choose this data. Suppose if your name value was here, It would not retrieve the data. See if you can, everything is gone. Okay, so it has to be on the first column, or if you want to retrieve the data, it has to be like I want to retrieve the data from here, so it has to be here. So after this, everything after this, the data will retrieve and it can keep on going. So Whatever data you are trying, trying to retrieve, it has to be on the first value. The lookup value and the data's value has to be in the first column. 
so I'm gonna use the column here we look up here we look up table array look up value added table array I'm gonna use the table array now I need the data for the third column so it's column index number three zero So it it has retrieved the data. I'll drag this column. See, every data is retrieved now. Okay, so this way you can use VLOOKUP to retrieve as much data as possible. Now I'm gonna show you how can you have a specific value in 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 the, in the data. Let's say if you do not have uh, two different sets of data, you do not have anything available over here. How can you? How can you? How how can you use VLOOKUP over there? So I'm gonna show you. Okay. Okay. How can you make a specific value? You can do by adding two particular data, merging them together. So how can you do that? Suppose I'm, I'm creating a unique value. I will use Roger first, then I will enter end, and then I will use second value, done. So I've created Roger 44. This is a unique value that I have created. So you can, you, you can do that with any data any sorts of data you can create if you have let's say two sets of data there are two columns which are similar so you can add those columns and you can create a unique value so i will drag this copy it and paste special you just have to put a paste special okay only value okay now i will use this data to retrieve uh, to apply we look up let's say we look up so this is the unique value and it is also in the first column as well so i can use that now i'm gonna use the table array, table array now i need the fourth column so this is the first second third fourth i need the data for the fourth column fourth zero and enter i'm gonna add i'm gonna drag it okay now you can see that it has um we drew the data from the specific value so i created a unique value and uh, i use that unique value to retrieve the data so what i'm trying to say over here let's say if you have two different data sets of data available where everything is I mean there are everything is not similar only a couple of columns are similar in both the data both, both the sheets so you can create a unique value and you can retrieve the data okay so this way you can use vlookup to do wonders okay guys so thank you for thank you for your watching this video please do like my video and uh, subscribe it and share with your friends thank you thank you very much